abstract a quadrilateral PQRS which QR is 6 centimeters angle PQR is 90 degrees angle QRS is 120 degrees RS is equal to 7 centimeters and uh, PQ is equal to 10 centimeters so uh, following the uh, the statements or what we've been given the question we can start by constructing the, the base of the uh, quadrilateral where they are saying uh, R is or should I say QR is 6 centimeters so let's do the QR so we put our ruler somewhere here and then we try to work out QR so it will look like this and uh, don't do a very odd one because you are not too sure you need to measure where six centimeters is uh, falling so let's say this is your this is your Q it's somewhere here Q and then to reach R you measure you can either use uh, whichever ruler you have you can use it and the compass so like myself are open here i want to measure where six centimeters it's up to here this is six centimeters up to here so i'll put my compass somewhere here and then cut here so that i know where six centimeters is falling so in this case i've known that six centimeters is up to here so this is my r so I'll put R here and then I'll make it bold now. It will now be very bold. So this is my Q R. I even write 60 centimeters. So from here, following the question, they have said the angle. Okay. The angle uh, P Q R is 90 degrees so in order for me to to make my angle perfect I can do this I get this I know that uh, if I put it here like this the angle which is being formed here is 90 degrees so I can uh, now do this get my ruler here somewhere here i'll put it here and the line we follow this line nicely this one and then i draw a line up here so i've known that this is 90 degrees i've formed a 90 degree degrees angle so don't make it very bold because you are still not too sure where it's supposed to end and up here that's where here that's where p must be and they have said p q must be 10 centimeters so you measure your 10 centimeters 10 centimeters from here to here this is 10 centimeters so once you measure that you can cut where 10 centimeter is is somewhere here so 10 centimeters is up to somewhere here so now i can make my line board like this so this is where my p is my p is here even right here, 10 centimeters so the next thing will be to uh do uh r s r s which is seven centimeters so for our r s we are going to use uh, or take advantage of the angle on where we need to use the protractor so since they have said uh try uh, angle q r s s must be somewhere here is 120 
So you get your protractor, you check where this line is, you make it follow this line, this dark line, let it pass there, so it will be like this, and then you check where 120 is, 120 is here. This, if you can see, this is 120, it's here. So you put a point somewhere here, and then you you make a line like this. Don't make it very very bold or very dark. Make, just make it light so that you are able to to do the perfect thing. So the next thing is we want to know where S must be. So we open our compass following the measurements we've been given. They've said it's see it's uh it's ten. Uh, I mean it's seven cent seven centimeters. So I'll put here, I'll measure where my seven seven is somewhere here. So this is seven centimeters. So I'll cut to know where my seven is. So it's from here up to somewhere here. So now I can make it bot. Okay, like this. So this is where my S is, and I'll write seven centimeters. So from here, I'll, I can now join up here. I can join like this. Good. So, and uh, I can remove these. They have no use. I can remove them. So I have my uh, quadrilateral. It has been formed. It's this one. So now we go to the next question where they are saying we measure the angle. So I'll write my answer here. I'll put my answer here. This is Z2 A2. So this A2 I'll put it here where they want me to measure the angle. So A2 will be equal to we get your pro, uh, protractor because they want us to measure the size of angle. Angle Q is blue pen. Q P S. What is Q P S? What is angle Q P S? So you get your protractor and put it here. Okay? Here. Because Q, P, S, it's this angle. So we measure this angle. This angle will be equal to, uh, if you can see, this is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So this is 65, 6, 7, 67. So the answer is 67 degrees. So we have measured that angle. You leave it that there we go we go to question b where they say on your diagram below the locus of points within quadrilateral p q r s which are eight centimeters this is what number one eight centimeters from ara so eight centimeters from ara will look like this you get your ruler and then measure eight centimeters so eight centimeters once you measure that eight centimeters and go to where they're saying where ara is because they're saying it's eight centimeters from ara so ara is here so since you have measured this is eight centimeters and then you you mark it's supposed to be inside the quadrilateral you even indicate that this is the b question one so we're done with that one. We go to B, question two. They're saying equidistant from R and S. So you check where R and S are is here. Meaning they are asking you to make a line which will, which will cut this distance equal. So that's why they're saying equidistant. So now at this point, you go to R. And then open your compass more than ha half of uh, 
half of uh, RS. So like I've opened here and then mark here and here like this. Hopefully you are able to see what I'm doing here. Then you come here. It will be like this and this somewhere here. So now we have the points. It's here where the line will pass and here. So now you can cut. Remember, we are cutting inside. So now you make your line like this. So you even indicate this is B, B2. This is B2. The other question which says equidistance from uh, PS and RS. So when you have uh, a question like this one which says PS and RS, you check the letter which is common. S is common. It means they are telling you to cut a line which is equal from here. It's supposed to be equal. And li that line must pass through S. So this side and this side must be equal. So, meaning you get your compass and then you open it a little bit and then cut somewhere here and here, like that. Just a bit, then from there you can open your compass more than half of the distance from here to here. So I've opened here, so I can now cut like this. Also here, take it, you cut it like this. You want to find a point. So the point is here. It's where the line will pass. So now you put your compass from this point here. Or your ruler from here. And then to where it's passing, which is here. And then it will be like this. So... You even indicate this is B3. B3. So from uh, this, we can now answer question C. Question C is or reads a point X is within quadrilateral PQRS such that it is less than or equal to. 8 centimeters from from R. This point is very important. So we know that 8 centimeters from here to this line. So if it's less, meaning that point or that area must be somewhere down here. Not up this line somewhere here. No, it will be down somewhere here. And uh, it's uh, nearer to S. Where is S? S is here than to R. So it's somewhere here, not this side where R is. So meaning it's somewhere here. And nearer to PS. Where's PS? PS. Nearer to PS, meaning up here, because PS is here. Then RS. So it's somewhere here. Shade the region. So which means that region will be this one. This is our X region. So we can shade it. So this is our our region. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Keep on uh, watching and subscribe. You can ask a question where behind, and this is the answer. This is how it, uh, this question was supposed to be answered.